Hello and welcome to Southend TV. I'm here today with Susan and Jennifer from CITP. Can you ladies tell me a little bit about what you do? Um, in terms of CIPD, mm -hmm. um, I'm the current chair as of the 1st of July. Mm -hmm. um, uh, I am looking at what uh, we're looking to do in the future for our uh, HR community and professionals. Um, I currently work at the University in London, but this is what I do as a part-time voluntary ah. role. So, organising events for people who are members of the Chartered Institute of Personal Development. I see. This so, um, just to give you a background, the CIPD has um, branches throughout the UK and we represent the South East Essex branch. Mm -hmm. um, there is the Chelmsford branch and the Ipswich and Colchester branch, which is headed up by our chair, John Topless. Right. Um, I would say that I've been, I was a chair for the last three years and the aim was to bring about awareness and develop the memberships for the South East Essex branch. Mm -hmm. And how what we offer to to our members um, has been providing them sort of up to date events that is topical mm -hmm. for HR um, seminars. What we've done in the last twelve months is open that up not just to H the HR community in the southeast area, but also the business community. Okay. Um, the aim of, of what we've done in the past has been looking at bringing to our members updates in practical sort of employment law. Mm -hmm. Um, what's going on, what's topical in the workplace within organisations, how we can help um, the HR practitioners but as well as the business managers right. and organisations from an employment law perspective. Mm -hmm. um, then the other aspect that we look at is around organisational development, training and learning um, and strategic HR as well. So it's basically trying to drive business partners, HR practitioners to help them move their organisation to providing a high performing organisation. Um, so moving forward, we've built up a, quite a strong base at the moment, mm -hmm. but now looking at it going forward for the next 2016-2017, we've got quite a, a, an attractive line-up coming up, which again will focus on those areas. I don't know if you want to discuss them, there's the employment law ones. Yeah, we've got grievance. a few grievance seminars, um, we have also grievance um, and um, we've got uh, the London Gateway um, okay. event coming up next year, mm -hmm. um, which is around um, international HR. Mm -hmm. So we bring in speakers from different uh, industries to come mm -hmm. and talk to our HR professionals. Um, and we have things like, um, we have a number of um, uh, questions and answer mm -hmm. sessions for HR people and panel speakers so that they can get more information from that. We do quite a lot of work around networking as well for mm -hmm. our HR Is that just your members or is that open to...? Well, we're trying to open it up a bit more to mm -hmm. other members. We've had quite a bit of success in that, but we'd okay. like to improve that. But we've kind of gone a bit wider than just the HR professionals. Mm -hmm. As Susan's was saying earlier on, um, the idea is to try and um, encourage small businesses to really appreciate what HR is about, mm -hmm. HR, it's some of the questions, within, yeah. Yeah, some of the things that they may be facing, so we're ch sharing that knowledge. Um, and issues that they might have within their organisations and helping them to address those, I guess, yeah. Yeah, and I think also, I think one of the things is with, with being focusing on the HR field, it is also bringing it to the business community. Mm -hmm. So it's not, we are going to bring, like, say, for example, the London Gateway, we will have panel speakers that won't be just specific with HR, but will look at business opportunities, how to bring that in, so that there's an openness mm -hmm. um, to try and incorporate the HR field, which is the core product, mm -hmm. but then also the other impacts it has on different um, business lines right. around that. So if anyone was going to look um, on your website, will they find all the details of these events? or is that yeah. They will do, that is going to be coming up. Um, we don't have the details around the London Gateway as of such, mm -hmm. that will be running up sort of towards the latter part of this year, early part of next okay. year, because yeah. that will run at the London Gateway in May. Mm -hmm. The date still has to be confirmed. And also the it would be probably like a breakfast seminar, okay. um, which will be taken as a uh, panel, mm -hmm. which will have, um, we usually get some top of speakers coming in from London and that side, usually people who have got a strong thought leadership background, so it's quite okay. an interesting mm -hmm. session for them. Um, and then what we did have um, in 2014, we had the London Gateway, which was our first event there, mm -hmm. and they allowed us to go in coaches and take the members and or the visitors as such, the attendees, um, around the actual London Gateway. So if anyone wanted to find out about these events you've got coming up, where would we go to look? 
Well, you can look at the CIPD website, mm -hmm. that's www.cip.co.uk, under Networks and Branches, and you can find all our details and information under that. You can also find us on Facebook and Twitter. And that would use names for those are? CIPD. If you search on that, they also, you'll find that. Well, thank you so much for coming, ladies. Very interested to find out what you've had going on. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for the time.